Welcome back guys, on today's video we're going to be doing a fuse upgrade. We're going to be adding a T-fuse to our van in place of the Mega Fuse that we've been using to date. We do have the fail safe for the BMS within the Roma battery which should in theory stop any problems. However, we do like to make sure we are 100% safe so we are going to fit a T-fuse. The one we've gone for is 400 amp hours because we do have the ability with our battery to produce 400 amp hours due to the fact it's the Roma 400 Max. There are several fuse and holder options available on the marketplace. Please do do your own research like we have done. The fuse holder I have here does support up to 400 amps. There are others out there that say they hold a fuse of up to 400 amps. However, they only rate themselves up to 300 or 320 amps. So if you do have one of the larger batteries, you may want to consider looking at a different holder to make sure you are safe. I will leave links in the description to the items that we have purchased. It costs us all in all about 150 pound. I did buy two fuses just to make sure that we do have a spare. So let's show you what we have. So first off is the fuse. It's the 400 amp hour T fuse. It's rated to 300 volts. Second up is the holder. This is a humongous holder. It has to be because obviously the size of the fuse is far greater than your standard mega fuse. This is about two and a half times the size. The good thing about these over the mega fuse holders, I'll just take the top off. You'll see that there are actually four bolts in here. These two are for the fuse, these two are for your wires, where for the mega fuses, they kind of lay over one another. So it's far easier to switch the fuse out should you need to. Right, let's get on and fit them. I'm now in the garage, and here is our electric setup. There is our mega fuse, which I'm going to take out, and that's where we're going to put in the new T fuse. And as I said, the new T-fuse holder is substantially bigger. I'm sure it'll still fit though. Right, I'm going to turn the system off first off, that way it'll be safe, and then we can start. So I'm going to start off by killing the system off. Firstly, I've turned off the connecting to the front battery. I will pull out the DC to DC. Always take it out just to be safe. I'm going to kill the solar so now I've got nothing coming in from that and then also I'm going to completely kill the system here right so that has completely killed the system the battery is still live there is a off button on the Roma battery so I can turn it completely off now you are supposed to drop the voltage down if you're going to store it but as we're not going to store it we're just turning it off and then we'll turn it back on it should be totally fine so that's what I'm going to do next and all I've got to do is press and hold the button on the top and that should turn the battery off and there we go completely powered down there's a little yellow light that comes up in there when it's on right now it's completely isolated we should be safe to go so I'm going to actually open up the front of this switch here because I want to be able to potentially loosen this off to be able to move it around as well frustrating part is I've actually got to take it off the wall because you actually see it from the back. There we go then, so there's your standard 400 amp mega fuse, and that's your 400 amp T fuse. Quite a sizable difference, although overall length is there or thereabouts, but the holder is substantially bigger. Right, I'm going to finish whipping these bits out, and then we get to fitting it. Well, as with everything else on the van, it always takes longer than you expect. 
I've had to do a complete rejig of where the kill switch goes and everything. So it's taken me about two hours to finally get the fuse in place. But let's show you what we got. So the old fuse sat here and I came out the bottom of the kill switch down here. So I've had to go off to the side and put it over this side because it is quite a fair bit larger. So here is the old holder and as you can see it is a lot bigger. So that's now in there, going in as normal, then coming back down to the battery. Right, now all I need to do is just put the cover on. The nice thing about this cover is you can just break off the lugs where you require it to be and then just slot it on. So I need to take off one at the top on the slide here and the bottom one because the cable comes in at the bottom and out the side at the top. Let's do this and we'll fit it. And there it is, just sat into place. You just do the two screws up on the front. Nicely finished. All that's left to do now is fully power the system again. And that's the install complete. I hope you found it useful. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will leave links in the description should you wish to go and pick up the units we've used. But as I said previously, this is just what we have done. You really should do your own research and if you're unsure, seek out professional advice. And of course, if you did enjoy the video, please do hit the like button. Also the subscribe button, as they're both free and they do really help out the channel. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video.